So question two gives us a reaction and it asks us to find the maximum velocity of this reaction which occurs over two minutes and it gives us the extent of the reaction where 5% um, of the substrate is converted. So from that we can deduce our initial boundary conditions for the reaction. So we've got T equal, Ti is naught minutes and Tf is two minutes. And then we have our relationship for our final and initial substrate con concentration. So CSF, our final substrate concentration, is equal to 0.95 times the initial substrate concentration, CSI, because 5% um, of the substrate is converted. So we go to our rate equation, uh, minus RS, and we know that it's related to a differential of concentration over time where we have dc of our, our change in our substrate concentration by dt time and we also know that our rate of reaction rs is equal to v max times substrate concentration over the michaelis menten constant km plus substrate concentration cs so we can rearrange this and we can integrate it in terms of concentration and in terms of time. So if we rearrange this now, so we bring this side up onto this side and we integrate Vmax by T, we get Km plus initial substrate concentration or substrate concentration over substrate concentration by DCS is equal to the integral of V max by DT. And then we can put our limits into this. So TF and TI for time and for concentration CSF and CSI for concentration. So we can simplify this first to make the integration easier. So we've just simplified this um, expression here and then we can integrate it. So we get minus our Michaelis Menten constant, ln of CS minus CS. For our right hand side, and that's still with our limits, final concentration and initial concentration is equal to our maximum volumetric rate of reaction and then our time component. We can put our um, limits in, so we get minus Km ln of substrate concentration minus the substrate concentration plus Km one of the initial substrate concentration plus the initial substrate concentration is equal to the maximum volumetric rate of reaction and our time components again. Rearranging this, because we're after our maximum volumetric rate of reaction, we get the expression for Vmax. And we can set that equal to our equation.
simplifying this, we get And all that's left now to do is to plug our numbers in from the um, from the question. So we get V max is equal to our Michaelis Menten constant, one times ten to the minus three, then log of our concentration difference of our substrate. Times ten to the minus five plus 3 times 10 to the minus 5 minus 0 0.95 times 3 times 10 to the minus 5. And then we divide this whole expression by 2 minus 0 for our time. And we get our Vmax to be equal to 2.64 times 10 to the minus 5 molar per minute. 